Right on. Welcome. Welcome to the After After Party. I'm glad you joined us, man. Give it up for the James Douglas Show. Yeah, man. Hey, James, man. I just got off an airplane, man. Yeah. Yeah, I hate to fly, man. You like to fly? No. You don't either? No. Finally, I found a wimp like myself. <laughs> I hate to fly, man. I do. I, well, I fly Southwest because I'm poor. No, I love Southwest. Don't get me wrong. I love Southwest. You know why? No first class. I hate an airplane with first class. <laughs> first time I got on a plane with first class, and I walk in, and you, you know, you come in, and they, they have like champagne, and they have like lobster and shrimp and stuff. I'm like, oh, that lay right on, bro. They're like, now nah, you're a Mexican, get in the back. <laughs> you know what that's like? That's like going through Dillard's to get to Walmart. <laughs> and 9/11 messed me up, man. 9/11 messed me up. I, you know, and 9/11 wouldn't have happened if you put more Mexicans on airplanes. I mean, think about it. You cannot rob us with a box cutter. <laughs> right, that guy would have stood up. That's it. We're taking over the plane. But it went. <laughs> <laughs> Jose, come over here, bro. <laughs> that vato wants the plane. <laughs> yep, the whole plane. <laughs> You're funny, bro. Now I'm going to beat the crap out of you. <laughs> So, but I hate to fly, right? You know, and, I, it, it, and they get to know me now, now that I fly a lot, right? In the Southwest, they're like, hey, Mr. Quesada, where would you like to sit, right? And I'm like, in the black box, stupid. <laughs> right? In case we wreck, I'll tell you what happened. Because the black box survives, right? Why don't they make the whole airplane out of that same material? It'd be nice if we all survived, right? Yeah. I don't know. I'm not a genius, but that's something I'm going to come up with. Then you sit down, they try to make you feel better, right? They tell you stuff like, your seat becomes the flotation device. I'm like, okay, I'm flying from Phoenix <laughs> to Albuquerque. <laughs> what are the chances of me landing in the Rio Grande? <laughs> right? And what would I do with the flotation device if we did, right? I'd be the only stupid man jumping out of the plane going, ah! Uh, Mr. Cassell, that's a real grand. Go ahead and stand up, bro. Oh, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> and then they tell you stuff like, you know, like oxygen will fall from the ceiling. Whoop dee damn do. You were crashing to your death. Who cares about your last three breaths of air? Right? Oh, we're crashing. No, not without clean oxygen. No, I'm not. Try that. <laughs> Stupid, right? Something more important should fall out, right? Like a bottle of tequila would be nice. Because we know in New Mexico, the drunk guy survives the accident. <laughs> right? The plane would crash and be rubble all over the place, right? We'd be coming out of the rubble. <laughs> right, they come run over, sir, sir, what happened? I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't driving. <laughs> A plane went like this. Then the plane went like that. And here I am. I'm just looking for the peanuts. I'm kind of crudo. Or a big fat leño. Right? Big fat leño, right? Because if you haven't tried pot, now would be a good time to try. That's what I'm telling you, right? If I fall out of the plane, you'd be like, we're crashing! So, <laughs> I'm still flying. <laughs> I have such a great show for you tonight. I'm glad you came to the After After Party tonight. <laughs> but before we move on, I need to do my Homiewood report, and so... You guys know that I do my Hollywood report from here on out, right? And so we are going to go right now to Krista from One Headlight Inc. And we, what's up? What's up, Krista? What's happening here in Hollywood? Hey, guys. I'm back. I'm Krista from OneHeadlightInc.com. I'm here to talk to you about the New Mexico film industry and how we need to keep it here. The uh, film industry is one on wheels, and if we don't take good care of them, they're going to pick up and go someplace else. 
So come New Mexico le legislative session time, we need to march up to the Roundhouse and let them know that we want to keep it here. In addition to employment and adventure and opportunities, they give back to the community. Uh, Breaking Bad, starring you know who, gives back to the community in various ways. They get out and help the homeless. They make improvements to local schools and, and everywhere all around the community where they get out and work. Cast and crews alike get out and help. Um, we have some stiff competition coming up on our heels from Louisiana and Texas. I like to say they are nipping at our boot heel, but we want to kick them off. And unfortunately, places like Iowa have already fallen by the wayside, but that's just more production for us. Iowa's film tax incentive was only in place for two years until it fell by the wayside due to being rocked by some scandal. Get online with us at OneHeadLighting.com all the time, where we'll track the latest in industry inside deets. And let's keep putting the NM in entertainment. Go, New Mexico. All right, all right. Thank you, Krista. Thank you so much. We love you. One Headlight Inc. All right, check it out. We'll be right back. My guest, my basketball star guest, Darvin Ham, will be right here on the After After Party. We'll be right back. No, exactly. Indie Film Rental. We have what you need to produce your indie film or music video project. Lessman Pro Audio. 5413 Lomas Northeast. Two blocks east of San Mateo. YDI's digital outreach programs offer students a safe place to learn skills using today's industry standard tools. Through a series of lectures and hand-on trainings, these programs give kids a head start for a career in the filmmaking industry. You have a program that really does set you up for the real world. This has given them a place where they feel like they belong. To find out more about these and other YDI programs, please visit www.ydinm.org. Do you want to keep yourself and your family healthy this holiday season? And the rest of the year. Watch our web-based series, Cooking from the Heart with Love. And a future episode with Stephen Michael Quesada, Cooking is Killer Beans. Beans? Beans. Yeah, all right. Thank you, thank you. Welcome back to the After After Party. I want you to welcome my next guest. He's a basketball star, and he's the head coach of the New Mexico Thunderbirds. Please welcome Mr. Darvin Ham. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. A hot band, huh? Nice man, nice <laughs> man. Let me know wherever they're performing in town, I'm there. Okay. Yes, all right. indeed. Yeah, and they yes, play indeed. all over, man. You yeah. Know, they play at uh, the Post 19. And... <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> the State Fair, I'm kidding. <laughs> so, hey, man, welcome to the After After Party. Oh, thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, there's a lot of things that you're famous for. Yeah. 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 And one is the cover of Sports Illustrated, huh? Yes, indeed. Yeah. Yummy. Right. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you. Yeah, my days at Texas Tech, uh, my last year there, 95, 96, we had a pretty special basketball team and we were able to go to the tournament, finish 30 and two, ranked top 10 in the nation. And during the tournament, we played North Carolina and smacked them around a little bit. And I ended up breaking the backboard during the course of the game. And yeah, it was good. <laughs> It was good. We used to smack the Lobos around a little bit, too. So. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, boy. <laughs> I, loved, I loved to make them go from love to hate in the <laughs> zero to 60 seconds. <laughs> you, did, uh, you did. You shanked them, and they didn't even know that. Like, and we clapped them that night? No, man, we're okay because we like being competitive. And at least, exactly. at least we know that our basketball team's competitive, right? Oh, yeah, oh, right? yeah. Right? And now, the funny thing is, is you're here the head coach of the Thunderbirds of our basketball team, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, we, uh, we're an NBA minor league team that's in town. Uh, we're the minor league team for the New Orleans Hornets and uh, the Orlando Magic. And uh, there are 16 teams in the league. Each team is affiliated with either one or multiple NBA teams. And um, our slogan is, come see the stars of tomorrow today. And um, they've been here in town. They actually won a championship back in 05, 06 here. Michael Cooper was the coach, and I'm just trying to get us back to that winning tradition. This is my fourth year here. Yeah, yeah. yeah man, that's what we want. Yeah. I know me and you were talking a little bit about what kind of town this is, right? Oh, yeah. and we, were, we were talking a little bit about that stadium they want to build, and, right. and me and you were talking a little bit more about how it should be a basketball oh, yeah. pit more than anything, because oh, yeah. this is more of a basketball town, right? And we're trying to get people to go see the Thunderbirds. How important it is to support, you know, your team? I, I think it's, it's crucial. I mean, not only is it important for us, you know, we're, we're, we're paid to say come see us play, but uh, in all honesty, I mean, it's a great brand of basketball. It's NBA affiliated. It's the minor league uh, system for the NBA, sort of like the isotopes are for the uh, Major League Baseball with the Dodgers. And, I mean, we have a wealth of talent on our team. We have our number two pick, Allen Anderson, who – has two years of NBA experience on his belt playing with the Charlotte Bobcats. We have Shane Edwards, a guy who was uh, the final cut for the Denver Nuggets. We have uh, another guy, Dar Tucker, who won our D-League slam dunk championship last year. We have Anthony Richardson, another good player, Josh Bostick. I mean, we have some really good talent. And uh, if you enjoy the Lobos playing, I mean, Coach Alfred, they've done a great job over there with that team and that program. And uh, we're trying to, you know, be on par. It's a little bit different being the fact that we're pro, but uh, I mean, it's, it's another level of bas pro basketball. It's NBA basketball in New Mexico, and you're not just go you're not going to find it anywhere else. I know. It's true. It's true. You know, I, I find a lot of people complain that there's nothing to do in New Mexico, and, and the thing is, is there is stuff to do, right? Yeah. There's sports to go see. Oh, yeah. And, you know, I, I consider New Mexico a basketball town. Definitely. Albuquerque. Uh, these are some basketball savvy fans. I mean, we, we, we got an opportunity to play, yeah. <laughs> we had an opportunity to play in the pit. Uh, when I played at Texas Tech, we would play them every year. And I mean, just to see all those people, you know, breathing down your neck, you know, rooting for their team and people I run, to, run into into the community. I mean, it's, it's, um, it's they, they're savvy. I mean, you wouldn't expect that because there's not a pro team here per se, an yeah. NBA team aside from what we're doing, but I mean, these guys, they know their basketball around here. And I think it, it would be in the best interest of the city and the state furthermore for them to build a main event center so they can have even greater basketball on a bigger scale. Yeah. yeah. And you know, and we were, we're gonna work on that. Oh, we, yeah. We, we have, yeah, you know, you know, I'll help yeah. you. I'll help oh, you talk yeah. to the right people, make that, try to make that happen. Yeah, I just um, don't want them to have, ask, us, ask us to pitch in any. No, they no, gotta, no, sorry. They got to spend their own money. That, well, yeah. we have to. That's yeah. how a city is supposed to work, right? Yeah. Um, and what people don't realize is that not everybody goes right from, you know, college to the NBA. And so, you know, some great players come from these teams oh, yeah. and work their way back up, oh, you yeah. know. Not everybody's lucky and for you to walk like you did and get and walk in and then people loved yeah. you and put you on a, on a professional basketball team. Yeah, you were lucky you didn't have to work your way up that way, but some people do, and they're successful at it. Yeah, and that's why we're here. That's why it's called a developmental league. That's what the D and the D League stands for, development. And um, not just for players, but coaches, front office staff, uh, referees, even the dancers. You know, we have dancers in our league that get called up to the NBA dance teams and NFL dance teams. So it's a process, I think, sort of an education after a, your collegiate education, your collegiate sports experience of uh, trying to get to a next level in, in, in the business of basketball. All right, man. Well, hey, man, uh, we'll be right back. We got to go to commercial. We'll be right back with Darvin Ham.
Lessman's Indie Film Rentals. Lessman, we rent lighting, jibs, dollies, tripods, video camera, and DSLR kits. We have what you need to produce your indie film or music video project. Lessman's Feature Film, Television, Commercial Production. Lessman's offers a green screen room with a graffiti wall and various other backdrops. 5413 Lomas Northeast, two blocks east of San Mateo. After party, uh, you know, Darvin Ham, man, from uh, New Mexico Sunbirds. Right? You know, we're glad you're here, man, and, and welcome here. Even though you've Thank been here you. a while, we want to, you know, on television, welcome you here and Thank continue you. success. And uh, we want you to stay here. We want you to take that team and kick some butt. I appreciate it. All right. Pre Thanks for your support. All right. Thank Thanks you for, for having Thanks for being on my Thanks, show, Steve. man. No I appreciate doubt. it. We got to hang out. All right. We'll be right back. Yeah. I got Hillary Smith coming back to the after after party. The best entertainment here in Homiewood, baby. Right here. We'll be back. Inside look into the New Mexico film industry. The new Hollywood, Nuevo Wood. Do you want to keep yourself and your family healthy this holiday season? And the rest of the year. Watch our web-based series, Cooking from the Heart with Love. And a future episode with Stephen Michael Quesada, Cooking is Killer Beans. Beans? Beans. Yeah, all right. <laughs> right, welcome back to the after after party and like I said I promise you the best entertainment that comes from New Mexico the best entertainment that comes from around the country tonight I have one of the best that comes from right here in Albuquerque New Mexico <laughs> we're so excited about her new I don't know what you call them CDs LPs whatever it is it's beautiful she's here to sing for you this evening Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Hillary Smith. Quality! 
Job, Bill. We'll be right back right here at the after after party. Yeah, with Hillary Smith. Les Mims Indie Film Rental. We have what you need to produce your indie film or music video project. Lesman Pro Audio, 5413 Lomas Northeast, two blocks east of San Mateo. Do you want to keep yourself and your family healthy this holiday season? And the rest of the year. Watch our web-based series, Cooking from the Heart with Love. And a future episode with Stephen Michael Quesada, Cooking is Killer Beans. Beans? Beans. Welcome back to the After After Party. We're having a good time here at the Pool Warehouse. I am sitting here right now uh, with Hillary Smith. Now, Hillary, we want to talk to you for a quick minute. Um, you're from here, right? I'm from Hobbs, New you're Mexico. You're from Hobbs. Yeah, but I'm living in Albuquerque. Right. Yeah. And how long has your family been in Hobbs? Forever. Forever? Yeah. Because <laughs> Smith, right? There's a lot of Smiths up there. Are you yes, the there only is. one? There's yeah, is? lots of Smiths. There's mm -hmm. a lot of Smiths. Lot of we church. really loved your music. Thank you. And what band? What band? band. Yeah. And we know you've been here a long time, right? So this is, this is her new... CD. CD that's what we call them, right? Yes, that's what you call them. Yeah, it. okay. The new CD is called No Easy Way. Mm -hmm. And where can they pick this up at? Um, on my website, www.hilljam.com or CD Baby or iTunes or at any of the gigs that I do in Albuquerque. So, okay. Come on out. Yeah. So, yeah, and you're good live. You like to have a good time. You're a good live performer. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> of course you are. Of course you are. But I want to personally thank you for you doing my show. You. Thank you, Stephen. Okay. Yeah. And, you know, we want to come and support you. We want to make sure that the New Mexico artists are making money and competing with everybody else like they are in the country because we have the most talented people here in New Mexico. <laughs> All I do is tell jokes, baby girl. I don't have talent like this, but thank you so much for coming thank on the you. show. All right? Thank you. I appreciate you so me. much. Yeah, it's my pleasure. All right? Uh, that's it for us tonight, man. We'll see you next week here on the After After Party right here on the CW. All right? We'll see you next week. I'm the James Douglas Show. Take it over, baby. The party's happening right here, right